Oh, that sounds like church house hype. If I start hiding, I'm rich. My life still gets turned off because I'm broke. If that's what you believe. So, so as a responsible teacher, I have to show you how to move from confession to manifestation. Go with me quickly to the book of Isaiah chapter 1. I have a responsibility not to hype you up, but to position you so you will stay up. I'm tired of church folks shouting on Sunday. Lights being turned off on Monday. In divorce court on Tuesday. At the crack house on Wednesday. Happy hour. Shouldn't be your hour. I got something to make you happy every day, all day long. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 1, verse number 19, because I got to show you how to turn confession into manifestation. Because I don't want you running around here naming and claiming and never receiving, because you'll make me look bad. My preacher told me just to say it. Say it is the first step. But after I say it, I have to do some corresponding actions. I've been to a bunch of pep rallies. Uh, where it sound real good. Where the players were motivated and yoked up and got in the field and laid it in. Because all they did was make noise. I've seen a bunch of weddings. With a bunch of noise. Don't be moved by the noise. Isaiah chapter 1, verse number 19. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. If I'm going to turn my confession into my reality, I must be willing to be obedient. And then I saturate the ground in which I sowed my seed on with toxic waste. I'm pausing my own destiny. I'm aborting my own dreams. I'm messing up my own future. I ask the question again, what happens when I become my own worst enemy? Obedience puts the soil in the right position. So the seed can do what it was created to do. The Bible says, if I am willing and obedient. If my confession lines up with the word of God, my confession now becomes my reality. Somebody say, if. If I keep it 100 with God. Oh, you're, not, you're, not, you're not getting this now. You, you, you were shouting just a minute ago. When I told you, just open your mouth and say a thing and God will move in a supernatural way. You got happy when I told you to open your mouth because a closed mouth don't get fed. But what I told you, if a man don't work, a man don't eat, you got quiet on me. I cannot fail if I obey the word of God. And now, now we've got to rush to a close. Once I make my confession and I saturate or I get my confession real wet with obedience, now my seed is in a position to grow. Anybody ready to be positioned to grow? So now I've sown my seed of confession. I've said what I am, who I am, and where I'm going. I've said what I am, who I am, and where I'm going. I've said what I am, who I am, and where I'm going. And notice what I said about me has nothing to do with what you say about me. I wish I had a church that had some spiritual liquid paper. And you make your mind up to erase everything they said. Because who in the world is they anyway? Who gave them the right to predict your destiny? Who gave them the right 
God to give you limitations on your life. If they didn't wake you up this morning, they can't keep you up. If they didn't give your hands to wave with, they can't tie your hands up. If they didn't give your eyes to see with, they can't hinder my vision. If they didn't give me feet to run with, they can't tell me how far my feet I can walk. And I'm going to walk, not when my daddy walked, not when my mama walked, but I'm going to walk by faith. Proverbs 16 and 3. The rush is the quickest rush I can rush. Proverbs 16 and 3. When you find it, shout amen. Now I'm confessing and I'm obeying, but I go one step deeper because I got to leave here with it. I must commit to it. I must commit to it. Help folks, somebody said, you must commit to it. There's too many non-committal people in the house. I must commit to it. Proverbs 16 and 3, commit your works unto the Lord and your thoughts, so the man thinketh, so is he, and your thoughts shall be established. I must commit myself to the Lord, then he will establish my thoughts. Flip back to Psalms 37 and 5. Psalms 37 and 5. I want you to leave here knowing you can and you will. Psalms 37 and 5. Get this. Commit your way unto the Lord. Trust in him and he shall bring it to pass. Let me give you a quick lesson on when to shout. Whenever the Bible says he shall bring it to pass. That means whatever you're confessing, whatever you're believing, when the Bible says he shall bring it to pass, that's your ticket to victory lane. So let me read it one more time. One more time. Commit your way unto the Lord. Trust in him, and he, the Lord, shall bring it to pass. In other words, God shall make it happen in your life. Oh, I like that. That gets me happy. That gets me excited. God shall bring it to pass in my life. God shall knock down every wall. God shall move every stone. God shall drop kick every demon. Everything that tries to stop me, the Bible says he shall bring it to pass. In other words, I'm on my way because God said so. He shall bring it to pass. Now, this word it, what is it that he's going to bring to pass? Look at verse number four. Delight yourselves in the Lord, and he shall give. Now, this is it. This is what God going to give me if I commit. Confess with obedience and commit. This is what God going to give me. You ready? Ah, uh, You ready? Are you ready? This is what my level of obedience over my confession will give me. He shall give you the desires of your heart. Hey, 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 I'm trying to contain myself. He shall give you the desires of your heart. That's how you become a champion. You commit your ways unto the Lord, and he shall give you. You have to stay broke all your life. You don't stay sick all your life. Make up your mind, I'm not going to be sick. Make up your mind, I'm not going to be broke. Make up your mind, my family won't end like this. And whatever you make your mind up and commit in your heart, you confess it out of your mouth and stay obedient, and God will give you the desires of your heart. Let me leave you alone. But I got to give you a prime time example of how this formula will work in your life if you activate it. It's like a winning playbook. It's like having Bill Walsh of the San Francisco 49ers playbook. You know it works if you just use it right.